on down with your beautiful wig. It's so good to see you. This is the very first time that the little seahorse has ever been read in public. So you guys are the first kids in the world to hear this story. Under the shimmering surface of the turquoise ocean lived a bashful little seahorse. It was a whimsical place filled with bright corals, glittering waters, and wondrous sea creatures. But with creativity, teamwork, shells, and seaweed, the three of them were able to carefully transport the precious object through the cool waters toward the little seahorse's home. When you are brave and ask for assistance, you have the opportunity to make new friends. The world becomes a happier and friendlier place for everyone. The end. <laughs>to see Sherry Fink and also to get a copy of The Little Seahorse for my niece Gracie and it's just it's amazing. Oh it's beautiful I love the last page. What's on the last page? Um, a little inspirational message. I loved it this is fantastic. She likes the book and she loves all the colorful pages. You like them Sagey? Yeah. She inspires children and adults alike. You know she didn't plan to be a writer she had no idea that not only she's going to be a writer but she's going to be an award-winning best-selling writer so it, I think inspires all of us to really you know go for our dreams and and do what we we dreamt about and make our dreams a reality. I'm just so so grateful for today and this experience in Paige's bookstore for having me here and, and all my fans for coming out to see me. It just It's extraordinary to be able to share a story that's so close to my heart and to know that it touches other people and, and to have the pink carpet. I'm just very, very grateful for this moment. Thank you so much.